He's been asked a lot about this matchup, but he was asked earlier in the week uh, about what they could take away from the first game that lost to Baltimore, and here's what he said. You know, I wasn't obviously feeling my best at that point. Didn't quite have my full full toolbox in there, but uh, I thought we did some good things in the second half, like you said. You know, first half, we didn't have a ton of plays. Uh, they did a good job. You know, we, we found some explosives in the second half. That's what we have to try to do. They do a great job of limiting those explosive plays, and you have to try to find them uh, because they're they're going to do a really good job on offense, keeping the ball, running it, scoring points. So we're going to have to do the same. Okay, so that was a long time ago. That game was in September. That was before that curly thing became a thing on his forehead, uh, and that was when Burrow was, you know, kind of looking sad a little bit. He was clearly less than 100%, and the Bengals did still get things going and make a game of it in the second half. That gives me some serious optimism about what they can, can accomplish against this Ravens defense that is so, so tough. Once again, they're going to be shorthanded, though. They did catch a break with Trey Hendricks and already working his way back in after suffering that knee injury on Sunday. But T. Higgins, Sam Hubbard, and Yoshi Voss, they've been ruled out for tonight. So we are playing with a, not the full deck here. And while I think they still have enough on offense to get it done because he does have people that he, you know, he's got the samples and he's got, Joe, Joe, Joe brings everybody up. He's, you know, Gronk compares him to Brady and did for his Hulk. He brings everyone around him to another level with him. I am a little worried about something that Joe can't control at all, and that's the defense. Hubbard's missing a second straight game. Without him last week, they allowed the most yards they've given up since week two of 2019. And he, of course, had maybe the most memorable play in the history of this rivalry with the fumble in the jungle. So, of course, the struggles last week weren't all about Hubbard, but, you know, you want all hands on deck, especially against Lamar Jackson. Uh, let's take a look at this. The Bengals are going to have to find a way to get it done tonight. Gronk alluded to it yesterday. The Bengals are in trouble if they drop this one, given the state of the AFC right now. I don't agree with him that they'd be finished or toast or whatever if they lose. But it does make their path a lot harder. A win gets them, involves them right back into a playoff spot. Don't forget, as you look at this, guys, um, if you want to get in on some action, have some fun over at FanDuel Sportsbook. Gronk and I did put together a little party parlay for you. Gronk likes Tyler Board, Boyd, 40-plus receiving yards, uh, and he always gives love to the tight end. It's a Mark Andrews anytime touchdown. I am rolling with the quarterbacks. Burrow, 225-plus passing yards. Lamar, 25-plus rush yards on the ground. Right now, it's all over FanDuel, and all FanDuel customers Customers can join with a no sweat same game parlay for Thursday night football. If it loses, you get bonus bets back. Ride with us or build your own. Do not miss out on your chance to get a no sweat same game parlay on FanDuel, America's number one sportsbook.